Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. This video is an overview of the termination features in MYOB Advanced. The payroll module of MYOB Advanced allows you to process an employee's final pay after their employment has been terminated. This includes paying out unused leave balances and other lump sums, and making adjustments for the notice period, updating the employee record, and reporting employee termination payments, or ETPs, via single-touch payroll. Default pay items for unused leave and lump sum payments are included in MYOB Advanced. In most cases, the default pay items will be enough, and there should be no need to create new pay items. If you do need new pay items for unused leave, use the pay item type Unused Leave Termination and the calculation method Rated. The taxation should be set to Termination if the payment counts as an ETP, otherwise just pick standard PAYG. All entitlements that should be paid out on termination should have the Pay Entitlement Balance Upon Termination option ticked on the Rules tab of the Entitlement screen. If you need to set up new entitlements to be paid on termination, make sure to tick this option and choose the kind of leave it should be treated as. If you've set up your own custom pay items for terminations, select Other, then choose the pay item here. To process an employee's termination, go to the pay run that will include their final pay, open the employee's current pay screen for the employee, and click the Termination button. This opens the termination window, which will gather the required information about the termination, calculate termination payments, and add them to the employee's pay. The first thing you need to do is specify the reason for the termination. Three options are available. Choose the Resignation option if the termination was initiated by the employee. Choose Genuine Redundancy for terminations that meet the ATO's criteria for genuine redundancy or approved early retirement or choose Dismissal for all other terminations that were initiated by the employer. The choice you make here affects the fields that are available on the rest of the window. Set the last day of employment and the date when notice was given dates. For resignations, this is the date when the employee gave their notice. For redundancy or dismissal, this is when the employee was given notice by the employer. The details in the notice section change depending on the reason. For a resignation, these fields let you indicate whether or not the employee worked out their notice period. If not, you have the option of deducting any unworked notice from their final pay. For redundancy or dismissal, this section gives you the option of paying out some or all of the employee's notice period if they didn't work it. The other tabs on the termination window display the details of any termination payments that will be added to the employee's final pay. Payments for unused annual and long service leave appear here, and any other unused leave for payments appear here. The ETP column on the Unused Other Leave tab shows whether or not each payment counts as an ETP. If you set up entitlements that use the Treat as Other option and a custom pay item, they'll appear here as well. The Other Termination Payments tab shows any lump sum payments that don't relate to leave, such as a redundancy payment or pay in lieu of notice. The Custom Payments tab lets you add other payments to support scenarios that aren't covered by the defaults. See the Terminations white paper on the MYOB Advanced Education Centre for guidance in dealing with these scenarios. Once you've entered the required details and any additional payments as required, click Save and Close to close the termination window and return to the employee's current pay, where pay items for unused leave and any other payments are added to the current pay automatically. You can generate a termination summary report from here. This shows the taxation details of the pay items that were added to the employee's pay grouped into items that count as ETPs and those that don't. This report can be supplied to the employee for their information. From this point, you can continue to process the pay run as normal. The single-touch payroll submission for the pay run will report a finalization declaration for the employee. Once the pay, including the employee's termination, has been completed, the employee's termination date is copied to the Employee End Date field on the Employment tab of the Pay Details screen, and their status is set to Inactive. The termination date is also copied to the expiry date column on the employee pay group screen. If there's an active row on the employment history tab of the employee screen, it's also updated to reflect the employee's termination. If you need to correct or reverse an employee's termination and the pay run including their termination is still open, you can go into the employee's current pay and reopen the termination window. Either make the necessary corrections and save to update the employee's termination pay items, or click the Delete button to remove all of the termination pay items that were added to the employee's pay. If the pay run containing the termination has already been completed, you'll need to reverse that pay run. Reversing a pay undoes all of the changes to the employee's record caused by the termination, 
and the replacement pay run that's created will include the termination details from the original pay. You can then go into the termination window and correct or delete the termination as necessary. And that completes our look through the termination process in the payroll module of MYOB Advanced. Thanks for watching.